Now, with the World Cup in Qatar just under three weeks away, a group of top Iranian athletes have asked football's governing body, FIFA, to ban their national team. They say their request is in response to the violent crackdown against protesters in Iran after the death of Masa Amini, who'd been arrested by the so-called morality police. Well, the group is made up of athletes from various sports, both inside and outside of Iran. Well, I'm delighted to say uh, one of those athletes uh, spearheading the campaign joins me now. Sada Bashari is uh, former world champion wrestler and former coach of Iran's wrestling teams. Thank you so much for being here on the programme. As I said there, you are one of the people who wrote that letter to FIFA. What do you want them to actually do here? Hi, Matthew. Thanks for having me. Uh, we ask uh, FIFA to ban Iran because we want to tell the world that we don't have a normal government. The government which kill its own people, which killed teenagers, innocent teenagers, which attack this middle uh, school student, arrest them, torture them, beat them to death, and kill them, they do not deserve to be in, a, in an international community. Before, if I was contacting FIFA about why Iran banning 40 million women to watch football in the 21st century, I just can't believe it. Or we as an athlete were not allowed to compete against Israeli athlete. These were the reason that I was contacting uh, International Olympic Committee or FIFA to ban Iran. Now we see that in the front of eyes of the world, they just killed these innocent teenagers. They arrested thousands of people, include they arrested my sister. And we don't know some of these people where they are. They arrested a lot of athletes, threatened them, banned them from leaving the country. And our question to FIFA and International Olympic Committee is this. These are, I mean, aren't these violating your charter? I mean, this is against Olympic charter. This is against the gender equality or anything else. But so why you uh, have been appeasing Iran since 40 years ago? And you remember Blue Girl when she set herself on fire, when she got arrested behind the, behind the stadium, they tortured her and she set herself on fire. We contacted FIFA, International Olympic Committee, when they arrested Navid Afkari, they tortured him, uh, executed him. We contacted them. They didn't do anything. Now, uh, and now we have this situation. So that's why we want them to be kicked out of the World Cup. Now, briefly uh, on this question, because uh, other athletes who've added their names to uh, the same letter have talked about the power of football, the fact that with the internet cut, uh, uh, so much of what is actually happening isn't getting out to the outside world, that perhaps if there was a ban... People watching around the world might ask the question, what is actually happening in Iran? Is that a view you share in terms of why perhaps FIFA should impose such a ban? Exactly. I mean, they sh this, is, this is the method they use. They shut down the Internet. They arrested tens of thousands of people. They killed them and they want to control the situation and they disconnect people from the world. My dad is sick. I haven't been talked to him for weeks and a lot of people, you know, they have the same situation. We don't know what's going on. A lot of my friends have been arrested. I mean, I just, I was able to talk to one of the, the lady who just got released temporary from prison. And she sent me the video and the picture of her body. It's unbelievable what they did to her. All of her body is, are bruised. You know, you see the bruise yes. and um, a whip, whip mark all over her body. So this is a situation that we're dealing with. And now that's why... We want to get attention from the media, from the whole world, to pay attention to this situation inside of Iran. Iranians love football. We know that over the years. Do you think there would be uh, popular support for, for any sort of ban? Absolutely. Just Iran International TV had a poll to ask people if they support uh, banning their uh, own country to World Cup. More than 91% in one uh, poll, and the second one, 83% people voted yes to ban Iran from the World Cup. Maybe it will be surprising for the whole world how can people ask for banning their own country, because, but because they don't know what's going on. Because if they come to our country, they will be surprised when they see how they arrest, torture this teenager. Yes. And now we have people like Mother for Justice they don't know where their beloved one have been buried. They even don't give the body of those people who have been killed to their mothers. And 
I mean, this is the situation we're dealing with. Fi- Let me ask you a final question. Did you get any response from FIFA when you wrote this letter? And do you see, in your mind, any difference between the approach from FIFA, say, to Russia, uh, banning them from international competition over what's happened in Ukraine and what is happening there in Iran? Well, look, FIFA says that we're uh, looking at this situation. They have been saying before, but they haven't done anything. But that's a good question. Why they banned Russia? I mean, which was the right decision. We fully support that because Russia was killing innocent Ukrainians on the street. Now, Iran kills its own people. Now, Iran banned all of these millions of women and the amount of pain and suffer they put on women. It's unbelievable. So this is a shame. And as an athlete before, when I was thinking that Olympic is the home for athletes, well, I was wrong because now I see while athletes inside of Iran are in jail, protests are in jail, they are welcoming the murderers. Because if you look at the National Olympic Committee of Iran, the head of National Olympic Committee is the high-ranking member of, yep. member of Revolutionary Guard, which is a designated terrorist organization. The whole sport is controlled by uh, Revolutionary Guard. Sport and politics is not separate from Iran. So that's why we ask them to ban Iran from World Cup and all of international competitions. Sadat, we have to leave it there, but uh, thank you so much for taking time uh, to speak to us here on the programme.